Prophetic Words from the Lord, to Jeff Barley the 30th of April 2020. The Book of Acts 2.0. The Sealed Ones. 144,000. Revelation Chapter 7. A more powerful anointing of my spirit than any of you has ever seen is now here but much more is coming. From now on the true church, which is my body and my bride, will be transitioning and ministry will no longer be centered in a brick and mortar structure. I do not say that my body will never meet in buildings anymore but it's not going to be the same as you have ever known. You all are my temples not built by human hands. I will fill my temples with my glory. To all those who have surrendered all to me, those who have withheld nothing from me, I will withhold no good thing. It is beginning even now, I will use my people who have repented of their sinful earthly ways, made me their foremost desire and obediently heed my call to intimacy with me and to seek and save all those who would come to me. This time that lies ahead for my body will be like the book of Acts 2.0. This will not be a revival of big man-made ministries that all know by name. The power of my spirit is coming through my humble ones who seek only my glory and to build my kingdom. Remember I said wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. This is because it is written by the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. Matt. 1816, You are my witnesses. I say unto you again you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Acts 1-8. This is to say I will use you firstly right where you live, then in the area surrounding where you live, then you will touch the area surrounding that and then I will transport you to and use you in remote places that you have never been to or even seen or known of. This will be the fulfillment of my words, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Matt. 24:14. You will truly know that you can do all things through my spirit that strengthens you. My great power shall be known once again in all the earth and it will be even greater than what was written about in the past. Truly, Truly I say to you that you would not believe the work that will be done even if you were told. The greatest work ever known upon the earth shall be done in this season. It will be for a very short time but it will surpass all other harvests. This is my great harvest and I am calling all of my own to share in the bounty of it. Your rewards will absolutely astound all of you. Now, do not be deceived. Just as during the time of the book of Acts in the scripture, my witnesses ran into opposition by the oppressive government that ruled at the time. The government that will oppose you will be even more oppressive than the Roman Empire and it will be this way all around the globe. This beast system has only just begun to rise and it will continue for it is written. You will resist it but it will continue to rise and you will oppose it because it is opposed to everything that I have commanded. They say that evil is good and good is evil. They will outlaw my name from being spoken or written and will attempt to erase it from the earth but my chosen ones shall speak my name with power and authority, obeying God rather than men. They will capture some of you and imprison some of you but some will escape miraculously by my power and by my angels. Some of your earthly bodies will be put to death but you must not fear. I am the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Satan cannot take my spirit from the inside of you unless you give him permission and make him your God through taking his mark that will be needed to buy or sell. If you purposely let him in, you cast me out. If you are one with him, you are not one with me. 
do not be deceived, there will be no forgiveness of this in this life or the next. This cannot be forced on you, those who take this mark will reject me as their Lord and Saviour and then they will be changed to not be a son or daughter of man but a beast. I came as the son of man to seek and save my own but now I am sitting at the right hand of the Father and I will return and destroy all of my enemies. Do not take the mark or you are my enemy. To whom much is given, much is required, with greater power comes greater responsibility. The days of Ananias and Sapphira are coming again. With greater anointing the punishment for disobedience is quicker and harsher. It's not going to be business as usual. There will be some that I will appoint to proclaim judgment on those that are wolves in sheep's clothing, false brethren, the liars and the disobedient. It will happen with no delay at all. In the same manner you will begin to see the manifestation of your prayer happen right before your eyes like never before. You will see miraculous healings creative miracles such as arms and legs growing where there were none, plagues and pestilences shall be gone, the dead shall be raised, the lame shall walk, the blind shall see, those who are vexed and oppressed by evil spirits will be set free, food will be multiplied and made to appear upon the table of those giving thanks to me by faith, I shall move you to where I need you and hide you from the enemy when need be, winds and seas will be calmed and mountains shall be moved all in my name, instantly. When you see all of this take place and become almost common, you will know that the time of grace is ending and the time of my kingdom is beginning. It will be after the fiery kickoff event. This great anointing will increase all the way up to the great and terrible day of the Lord. It will be great for those who are with me and terrible for my enemies. This is when my witnesses, the 144,000 shall be transformed and do even greater things than I have mentioned before. They will shine with my glory and do the great exploits and greater works than I did on earth. It will not be possible for them to be harmed, their strength will be unlimited. They shall run and not grow weary or faint and they shall put the fallen ones and the giants to flight. They will help and protect those who did not have their lamps and vessels full of the oil of my spirit, even though these will have to give their lives for me. My wise ones will reap till the very end of the great harvest and turn many to righteousness and shine like the stars for ever and ever. The time is upon you. Jesus the Christ, Yeshua Ha Mashiach.